What's up guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another toy hunt. And today where it's gonna be a quick one, I'm just gonna forewarn you on that. We're gonna hit Ross, we're gonna hit Target. We're gonna see if there's anything left at Ross at all. I'm gonna think no. And we're gonna see those clearance deals starting to turn up at Target. So we're gonna go with those stores really quick and then I'm gonna come back here, got a nice little haul, and I'm back into a certain line. So I'll be sure to show you Ooh, I think I got six or seven figures back from this line. So excited about that. See what we can find on the toy hunt. So let's do it. Target's on deck. See you there. All right, guys, welcome to the post Christmas toy hunt. Uh, Target, not a lot to look at, but I did run across these. I don't know if these have been showing up at Target, but this is the new Batman and Robin wave with the Mr. Freeze build a figure. I don't know why they made these. Worst freaking movie ever. The Poison Ivy looks pretty good. There's the Robin. And then let's take a look at the Mr. Freeze head sculpt. It looks pretty good. Um, yeah. So there's that. There's something sort of new here. Also got Bombshell. Bombshell, that's a good figure. That's pretty new. Other than that, Transformers is cleaned out pretty good. They do have another Trouble Bubble. Animated Batman, WandaVision stuff, nothing crazy there. It's fairly cleaned out. I already looked. There's not a lot of uh, good clearances. I do have a Spidey. Very sought after figure. I got two of him. But uh, the clearances haven't really kicked in too much, unfortunately. So let's get some MJs. So there's not a lot to clearance anyway. What else we got here? From this side, I got Orange Cassidy. Beth Phoenix. First time seeing Merrick. 12 bucks though. Let's see, he was 13. This is the Paz Fizzle. He was 13 before Christmas, and now he's going to be 20. <laughs> so, everything else is pretty cleaned out. I was looking for some masters. Those are cleaned out. Also got this. Not one of these is sold. Got those were $7.49 the other day. Now they're $12.49. He's thirty-one forty-nine. I got him for fifteen bucks on Amazon. He'll be there, be here soon. And then no masters, like I mentioned, except for Stinkor, who's a super old figure. So we got Pighead, but Point Dread's down there, twenty-eight. And then dinosaurs. So not much. Let's go over to the electronics. See if I can find Baby Sinclair. All right, let's see what we got over here. Kind of looks the same as the last time we were here. Nothing super exciting, Mr. Freeze. There is, what is this name, Sin? Interesting. Okay, whatever. So I got the Muppets. And yeah, it's kind of looking the same. It's very messy. <laughs> And do they have any dinosaurs? No, no dinosaurs. Nick is cleaned out really good too. I got Gremlins, Dungeons and Dragons. Very old stuff. Elf, yeah. So, there you go. Not a lot to talk about here. I don't even know if Ross is open. I don't even know if Ross is worth a trip, but uh, let's go find out. All right, guys, checking out the remnants of Ross. We still got an Ahsoka, four bucks. And running into a red Megatron as well. Also a Shazam pop. That is it for the front, unfortunately. So let's make our way to the back here. See if we can find anything else. I'm not counting on it, but you never know what might happen. Yeah. <laughs> It's not good when you can tell from all the way back here that it's going to be pretty desolate. But you know what? Maybe it'll come back. We'll kind of wait and see, but uh, right now, oh, we got something down here. Let's see some Star Wars, actually. Got some, yeah, we still got some Joes. We still got some Star Wars. Base Malbus. Got a base. Interesting. And then Ewok Village Leia is starting to show up here in droves, unfortunately. 
a bunch of those. Twins are still hanging out. Uh, like that might be about it. Still got a bunch of legacy transformers. Not much, not much. Turn around. All Ahsokas and an Obi-Wan. I have that, so we don't need to grab that. Also got Firestar, $2.99. So there's a little bit, I don't know if Ross is gonna be something that we're gonna be able to count on now that Christmas is done, but you never know. This is a lot easier to go through though. <laughs> Because there's not much left, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I said, I don't have bays, so mm, maybe. Six bucks, I might as well, I suppose. Probably go to the ground for six bucks. Let's see if we can see anything else around here. It's a Hocus Pocus. Doesn't look like much else, guys. Toy hunting after Christmas is not a fun thing. This is going to be it. This is all I have time for. So there you go. Target and Walmart. Pretty desolate. See you guys back in the toy loft for a pretty good little haul. All right, there we go, guys. Very quick hunt, like I mentioned in the intro. I, I just don't have a lot of time to, to hunt. It's Christmas time. I'm going to lock down my computer at work real quick because I'm still at work hours. <laughs> Uh, Christmas time, didn't have a lot of time with family stuff and everything else, but I uh, was able to get Target and Ross. Ross still had a tiny bit, and Target also had a tiny bit. So hopefully uh, the Ross thing continues. I really wish it would. Uh, some buddies of mine are still finding stuff, still finding the Top Gun Transformer we found last week, still finding um, a lot of the Star Wars stuff that I found and, and that sort of thing. So hopefully it continues. Hopefully it keeps going because, man, it's been crazy. So, we've got a lot to cover here. I've got 11 things to show you guys with this haul portion. And uh, one, or let's see, not one, like seven are going back into a line that I previously sold that I'm getting back into now, and it is a modern line. So, there you go. But before we get into that, let's get into one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pickup. Got this on Amazon for $17.50 the other day. That is the Mirage Casey Jones been wanting this for a while, been waiting for a sale. Noticed on Instagram that this guy was on sale, so I don't remember who posted the link, but thank you very much for doing that, because this is an awesome looking figure. A little bit older figure, I, I'm glad I got, it's kind of a crapshoot, I'm glad I got the red version, or the uh, gray version, not the red version, I don't really like the red version, so the gray version's perfect. He looks awesome, as you guys have seen. This is a little older, but very happy to have this guy. The Mirage line's something I get a little bit here and there. But uh, Casey Jones was definitely worth a pickup, I felt. So there you go, Casey Jones. That's the only Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pickup for this haul. Three Star Wars. So let's get into some Star Wars. You guys saw it in the Ross clip. They're starting to get in Bay's Cherry. A lot of the Rogue One wave that we've seen clearanced on Amazon and online retailers. But Bay's Malbus for six bucks. This is my third round with Bay's Malbus. <laughs> Honestly, the first version was terrible. Sold off the second, sold him off the second time. But this is the updated version with the uh, photo reel. And he looks great. I mean, he looks really good. And for six bucks, I mean, like I, again, like I've said, if I can find a black series that I feel is a good price and I don't have them, I'll get them. Six bucks is fair for Baze. Baze is a good enough figure for six bucks. I don't know how I'm going to get him to stand, but there you go. Six bucks. That'll be an easy one to find for you guys. And um, next one, Amazon. A lot of people are finding this at Target. We saw it at Target for 32 bucks. Well, I got mine for 15 at Amazon. Way better than the $45 asking price. So the Luke and Grogu. Uh, this is probably it for Jedi Luke's. I think I got enough now. It's like three now. But this is a cool little set for 15 bucks. I'll take that all day. There's a look at it. I think it's pretty cool. So happy about that. Also on Amazon, because I couldn't find this guy on Ross. At Ross is the Admiral Akbar. I think I paid 14 or something, so I'm okay with that. That's not too bad. Not five bucks like you guys are finding at Ross, but that's okay. I, I actually like this, and I, I was okay with it being 
this Admiral Akbar. I don't have Admiral Akbar, so I'm just going to go with this one. I'm going to roll with this one. The other one's pushing like 30, 35. So screw that. We'll take the uh, $15 one. I like the uh, kind of the foil look of this one too. This is a cool figure. So there you go. There is the Star Wars. There is the Ninja Turtles. I mentioned I'm getting back into a line. You probably saw my last video with the Trap Jaw. So that'll kind of give you an insider's view of what we're talking about here. And that is Masters of the Universe. Mostly the sublines, New Eternia, not so much the Revolutions or the Revelation, although there, there might be one or two of those in here, but mostly the New Eternia. The New Eternia stuff looks awesome. That Trap Jaw, go check out that review if you haven't. Trap Jaw's phenomenal. He could have probably been two or three on the figure of the year list, to be honest with you. So, starting out the Masters, we got Sun Man. The only reason I got Sun Man is because he was like eight bucks. But actually, this is a really good figure. The wings are incredible. Really well done. Um, I never had a problem with these figures, to be honest with you. I think uh, really the only big issue was I was out of room, but we've gotten out of some lines, so I want to kind of get back into Masters. So there's Sun Man. Good figure. One of my favorite figures in the entire line is the Skeletor. The Skeletor is awesome. This head sculpt is especially really, really good. We take off that head. We put on this head. We've got a staff. We need to get him a good sword. And then we need to apply some paint. Unfortunately, on his feet, on his claws, there's no paint. So we'll paint him up a little bit. This will be my definitive Skeletor until they ever decide to make kind of an appropriate one. But there's the Skeletor. Happy to get that one. And then another figure that I think could possibly, maybe if I got him a little sooner, could have been in the figure of the year conversation. That's Faker. This thing looks amazing. Great looking figure. Very happy. Got him on Amazon. Got him pretty cheap. Don't remember how much, but pretty cheap. This is... One of the best looking figures I've seen in the entire line. There's a good look at him there. So there's Faker. And then obviously the new stuff, new man at arms, also looks amazing. Comes with some different head sculpts, some different uh, weapons. Well, it's just an extenuation of that weapon. And then um, also alternate helmets. This is going to be a good line. I am really happy about this line. I'm going to get Mechanic. I'm going to get uh, Triclops. So anything that's kind of vintage-esque we're gonna go for on this so there's that also got the new merman looks amazing love it that they got his armor he looks just like the vintage style so happy about that and then one of my absolute favorite figures we're gonna this is gonna fall <laughs> one of the best figures in the line again beast man 18 bucks phenomenal figure love beast man love that figure we're gonna get too bad and a lot of the other deluxes and then Manny, Fa uh, Manny Faces. There you go. Manny Faces as well. So there you go. We're back in. We're back in. We, we dove head first. <laughs> I told you there's a lot. We dove head first. There it is. So, oh, man. I'm not going to cut that out. That was awesome. So there you go. There's the haul. Hopefully you guys had a good Christmas. Hopefully you got everything you wanted. I don't really get a lot of toys for Christmas because my family buys me other stuff. So I used to get like shirts. So there you go. There's the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on the next one. The next one should be the top five pickups of 2023. So there you go. If you guys like this video, comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Later.